Greetings everyone, my name is Valentina. For those of you who don't know me, I run a YouTube channel called It's Perfect Beauty. I will be leaving the link in the description below. But today, we are here to talk about how to start a gas business. How you can, what and what is required for you to start a cooking gas business at Abdul's Oil and Gas. Here is Mr. Abdul. Hi. He will be showing us what we need to start a cooking gas business today. The following are what you'll be needing in order for you to start a cooking gas business. One, cylinders. Here are 50 kg cylinders. If you're able to get two of these, or three, is enough for you to start up a cooking gas business as a beginner but if you can afford more it's still very much okay and two you need a scale here we have a hundred kg measure scale and thirdly we will be needing some tools which are a range, an adjustable spinal, a plier, and a screwdriver. In a short while, we'll be showing you what they are all used for. So now, for the 50 kg cylinder, you are going to you are going to be needing the following things that I'm holding: a nozzle, which is this I'm holding, a nozzle, hose, which is for transfer used for transferring gas, and the 50 kg cylinder lump. This a vive for cylinder for you for cylinders, uh, which is six kg, three kg, five kg. Because you require this in order for you to refill them. So these are what you be requiring. So at the end, after fixing all. All, what, all the items you need for the 50 kg gas, you arrive at something like this. So this end is the one that goes into the 50 kg, and this other end is used for refilling. We will show you how to set things up here. And in this step, I will be making use of the third requirement. So now, you have to take this end and fix it into the 50 kg cylinder which goes like this and you have to you have to turn it to the left so as, as, so when when it gets to a stop now you have to get they are just adjustable spinal in order for you to tighten tighten the knob. So if you do it like this, in order for you to tighten the knob. And also for loosening. Now the range is used for opening the for opening the lock the 50 cylinders lock so the range is used for opening the lock which goes like this 
and tight and closing and closing the knife. So it's used for both opening and closing. So that's the use of the wrench. In, in this uh, in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of the scale here for people who are not used to the measuring scale. First, you have to turn it on. So now it's it's ready to be used. So place your cylinder on top, and in my case, it's still kg. When now it's going to display the initial weight of the of the cylinder. So here you have the readings of the initial three kg cylinder. So in order for you to refill, you need you will be needing the this. To refill. So how how do you make use of this? You screw this in place to the top of the three kg cylinder, just like that. And now you pick up the nozzle, which is this this very end. And now you put it on top and, and lock it down. And shift it to get locked. So in order for you to start refilling the cylinder, you have to wipe this back to zero by clicking on the tire. Now you are ready. Once you start, then you turn, you open the nozzle so that gas can flow in. Now your skin starts reading the weight as the gas keep on going into the three kg cylinder till you stop that's how you make use of the scale so in order for you to after when you are done filling or putting the amount of gas you you want to put in the in the cylinder then just turn it off shift this this way and detach now and detach now unscrew this of the two kg cylinder for you to see if if the total weight add up turn the scale back to zero and place the cylinder on top so you'll be getting a different reading which means the initial initial the initial weight of the cylinder and the amount of gas you put into the cylinder will give you the total weight of the cylinder so which means the weight of the cylinder will not be what it was initially it's going to change for an example if you have to put 2 kg gas into this 3 kg cylinder or what you will be having here would be 5.85. So that's how you make use of this. Mr. Abdul, yes. what are the safety measures we should put in place? Yes, that was a very good question. You know, because in this business, safety is one of the most important aspects of the business. Okay. The safety of you and your customers. Okay. So some of the safety measures that you can put in place is one having a fire extinguisher, okay. maybe six kg onward. Okay. Then you have to have a sound a sound bucket in case of any fire outbreak outbreak. Okay. And thirdly, don't make calls in in a gas shop unless okay. you can go some meters away from the gas shop and make your call for safety reasons and also no input some signs indicating things like no smoking or lighting of matches or anything that can okay. result to fire incident in your shop so these are what you can put in place Okay, Mr. Abdul, thank you for today. It was a pleasure. We have heard it all from Mr. Abdul today. So, I want to say 
thank you to mr abdul for showing us everything we need to know about cooking gas so please do like this video share it subscribe and click the notification bell